please welcome to the stage, Anna Hecht. How do you know you're reaching your students? Maybe there are some more obvious examples, like a student who comes into your office every week or so, or the student who answers your questions in class. Or maybe you're lucky enough to run into a student years after they graduate and they thank you for some memorable experience. But these are just one or two students, and you have a classroom full of young adults, some sure of themselves and some not so confident. I've been on both ends of these confidence levels. I've come into one class with a smile, ready to learn about something I think I'm interested in, and I've come into another class disappointed that maybe I had little interest in the topic. In both cases, I was lucky enough to have a professor who kept me engaged. I want to talk to you about two professors today that have impacted my college career. One who made me care deeply about the classwork and one who showed me he cared deeply about his work. I first want to talk to you about how one professor made me care. He made me care so much about his Internet of Things course that I surprised myself. His students cared about the projects because simply the success of the project didn't earn them a grade in the class. And with this comes more freedom. We were given the freedom to take ownership of our projects and to find opportunities beyond a rubric. First of all, I did not want to be in this class. I had this plan of taking an electro optics course that it really excited me, but the first week of school, it was canceled. So I joined this Internet of Things class just because it fit into my schedule, but I was really unsure. Next thing you know, I am fully engaged in this class. We were given a project where we could go out and collect data using specific devices, sensors, and servers in any way that we wanted. And I couldn't believe what I found myself doing next with this project, just because of how much I cared. You would find me wandering through an open field in the pouring rain, umbrella wedged under my arm, trying to juggle my laptop, my little device, holding up my GPS, trying to get a signal. And I had to stop and laugh. I asked myself, what was I doing here? How did my professor get me to this point? It's not like this was going to get me a better grade in the class. That didn't matter at this point. The next project comes along, and you would find my team digging through a cooking and rotting compost pile. The next, you would find me driving around town, collecting data, and then having to explain to the donut shop guy what we were doing with all these blinking lights in my minivan. And we all cared so much about this class. So I asked another student why he put so much effort into it. And he said it's because we aren't just following a script. The professor gives us tools here and there, but leaves enough gaps for us to fill with our own stories, our own curiosities. We took ownership of the material in the class, making our work so much more rewarding. The student was someone who knew I wasn't so thrilled about my other class being canceled. So he said, whether or not your passions and interests are really in Internet of Things, you can apply this approach that our professor taught us in any project. This professor made a difference in my college career because he made me care to an extent that I didn't expect. So how, as professors, can you ignite your students in this way? Can you give your students more opportunities to engage in your class by giving them more liberal project structures. Through this class, I surprised myself in how well the professor was able to get me engaged in a topic I didn't think I would be interested in. I believe we explored beyond a typical project scope because we were able to make the projects our own. I appreciate the professors the most who have allowed me to take ownership of my learning, especially this professor because he was a professor who made me care. So now I want to talk to you about a second professor, one who showed me he cared, one who connected with his students because he was passionate about his work. Creating value in a classroom doesn't have to involve a complete restructuring of the, of the course or packing your lectures with more material. This professor was more successful in engaging his students 
because he simply showed them why he cared and he placed himself into the material. Remember that I'm up here speaking as a typical student asking the typical questions such as why am, I, why am I in this class? I'm sure some of you have heard that before. Or why am I even this major? And what purpose does this material actually serve? And these questions are constantly circulating, especially those first few years of college. When the material isn't quite clicking, it can become almost a restless feeling. Am I even in the right place? Professors can give their students a chance to fall in love with their majors, to find their passions, and maybe answer these questions. This professor made it really obvious to his students that he was excited about his lectures. In the first week of his digital signal processing class, we already knew why he chose his major when he was in our shoes. We knew why he wanted to be there. We learned he was really interested in music and experimented with audio equipment. And as someone who started to realize that she wanted to be an electrical engineer after working with audio equipment back in high school theater, this was a major connection in my mind. I'm thinking that's where he started and that's where I started. So maybe I'm onto something here. Without knowing it, this professor just spoke to someone in the room. He just sparked this new energy in me. All that it took was him adding something personal to lectures. Once we learned a little about this professor, we started to see his interests come alive in the classroom. In one assignment, we were filtering an audio clip, but instead of using any audio clip, he gave us a recording of him singing and playing the guitar. And this showed us that he cared so much about the material that he placed himself into it. In the next assignment, he invited us, he challenged us to choose our own audio clip, to place ourselves into the material. Again, we have this idea of telling your own story within a project to become more engaged. This professor also did a really good job at making us understand why what he was teaching was important in a really particular way that really stood out to me. He would add small side lessons to lectures where he would point to his regular lecture slide, but then talk about how this specific equation was used in this exact point in his research. And he gave more meaning to the lectures in talking about something that he was passionate about. And he brought this energy into the room, again, that is just soaked up by his students. It didn't take much for him to add this to his lectures, but it showed us that the material we were learning was worth caring about. This professor made a difference in my college career because he showed me he cared. So how, as professors, can you show your students your passions? Can you give your students more opportunities to connect with you and your course by simply showing them why you care, what brought you here? Through this class, I saw my professor was a person with his own interests, his own passions, his own questions about the world. And it was clear to me that what we were learning had value. And he believed that it had so much value that he placed himself into it. As professors, your impact can go far beyond what you may realize by simply letting your students know why you care. Every professor has their own style, their own methods for connecting with their students that match their personalities. And, and I've seen this and understand it. But I connected well with the professors who show me these personalities and allow their students to do the same. They challenged me to own my education. I connected well with the material when I could see my professor place himself into it. So don't be afraid to show your students what you're passionate about, because we want to know. This could be your opportunity to reach your students. I appreciate and I connected well with the professors who made me care and the professors who showed me they care. Thank you.